before I start shooting, I always set up my session. I'm using the new folder creation tool to build a clean structure. This gives me a clear overview of the entire project. Everything is organized and ready to go. I was shooting tethered, which meant that I could see my images coming in live. I had already set up my next capture adjustment. This meant that every time a new image gets into the computer, the retouch is already applied. This keeps things easy and consistent, and it saves me from having to repeat edits later. I've reset the image to give you a bit more insight into what the retouching tools can do. So I want to start, and I want to remove some of the dark circles. Firstly, I will go a bit far, and then dial it back to find a good balance. Finally, I'll go back out, and just make sure that what I've done looks natural and nice. The retouching tools also works as batch apply. So now that I've done one portrait, I can simply copy and do a batch apply to all my images. Moving on to the next portrait, I'm seeing some obvious blemishes. So what I'll do is I will start by pulling the cursor for the blemishes. To begin with, I want to make sure I remove everything, but then I want to dial it back to find the right balance. I'm trying to get rid of everything, but still keeping it as natural as possible. And obviously, come back and see what I've done. And straight away, it looks super nice. Moving on to the next portrait. Here we have two faces, which Capture One has already detected. So what I can do is I can choose the one I want to work with. First I want to remove blemishes. So when this looks nice, I want to select the other face. I then want to move on and even the skin, just to make the skin tone more smooth. Maybe adding a bit of texture. And then in the end, we can see what we've done. It's just super nice to be able to select each face separately so that you can do individual work. Having these tools available within Capture One means that I can now do my entire workflow here and not have to jump into other software.